Okay, hey everybody. So, here's another yarn tote from the attic. Whew. I have done so many videos today. This is like my eighth, ninth, maybe tenth. I don't remember. Oh, but I have been, uh, I had to get it done. I had to have videos for you, I, so, which I'm not complaining, not complaining at all, but we've got some really, really good yarn in here, and this tote, oh my goodness, and of course, some of it they make, some of it they don't, I, but I wish they did, let me tell you, so, well, we have this beautiful yarn. It is from Hirschner's. It is their sport weight yarn. This is, the, my opinion, this is a workhorse yarn. If you wanted a sport weight and it is spot on a sport weight. I mean spot on. Spot on. That is a sport weight. Beautiful sport weight. I've used this numerous times. They do not make this anymore. Why, I do not know. But... Anyhow, it's 100% acrylic, three and a half ounces, 100 grams, 224 yards, 205 meters. Machine wash, dry flat, made in China. They're saying it's a light three. If you to be a heavy two, thin three, I will buy that. Um, the color is beige. Color number is twenty-two. This is really this was really really nice yarn, and it's sad that it, they don't have this brand or this yarn anymore. They might have it in called something else. I don't know. Um, I might email them and say, you know, hey, ever think about bringing back your Hirschner Sport White yarn? I like it. Now, is it as soft as um, Stylecraft Special Decay? No. But it softens up in the wash. That's what I try to convey to people. Three dollars for Hirschner Sport Weight, or five dollars for Stylecraft Special DK. Now, Stylecraft Special DK, yes, you get. It's like three hundred and ten yards. In there and there's only 224 in here but let me tell you, you want st stitch definition you got it but anyhow enough crying over something I have no control over but we've got one two three four we got five ten 10 beige. Oh, 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 oh. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, beige, so there's 15. And we got 20 beige.
20 at 224 yards. 4,000 yards. Three, three or four baby blankets. Mm, I miss that yarn. So, now this is the yarn that I made a baby blanket out of. Seven or, seven or eight years ago, they still have it. And they say it's like brand new. Um, this is the Hershner Sport Weight. And this color is Dark Sage. And I've got five. It looks like I got ten. So that's over 2,000 yards. 2,200 yards, 2,200 yards. Of really good Afghan yarn. So... Reminisce, reminisce, because that's all we can do. They discontinued it. So, here we go. We've got Hershner's Afghan yarn. This is thin, like what I'm using right now for my blanket. Um, but this is acrylic, not wool. So, this is called Hershner's Two-Ply Afghan Yarn. It's 100% acrylic, two ounces, 56 grams, 220 yards, 201 meters. It's a fine two weight, and I do I do agree with that. Uh, machine wash, dry flat, made in China. Uh, this is deep teal, color number 41, and this is just beautiful yarn, just beautiful. I love working with this. I do. Um, me and Kevin actually went to Hershner's several years ago. We went to their warehouse. Because you read about it online and it's like, you know, hey, we got like three football fields full of crafts and blah, blah, blah. Come, come walk through. So I'm thinking that we're going to be walking through this big old warehouse, right? So we took like a three-day trip, I think, to go walk through this warehouse? Uh, no. They have a huge warehouse, but you don't get to walk through it. They have kind of like one of everything out front into a little store. And you take up to the counter and you tell them, you know, hey, um, I need so many of this or so whatever. You tell them what you want. They run back and get it, bring it up front, ring you up, bag it, out the door you go. So I was disappointed. But. To go to their um, building, their where, it's their warehouse, but they have like a little shop on the front. To go there to get your stuff, you pay, it's a lot less than ordering it, buying it offline. And even if you bought offline and went to pick it up, you would pay more. So if you are in the um, area of Hershner's, go there, get what you want from there because it is cheap. Anyway, it was a few years ago. Um, so, there's 2,200 yards of deep teal. And this is, I love working with this yarn. Um, so I've got 10 of, what color are you? Um, this is called dark blue, color number 0016. They still make this. They still make this Afghan yarn two-ply. But there's a catch. Okay. They still have it in the small balls. But they also are coming out with double size. 
Yes. So the the uh, a, the two ply Afghan yarn is in a bigger. I don't remember how many um, yards it is, but it's a bigger ball. So we got ten of these, and this color is forest green, color number zero zero two zero. So I've got ten of them. And here, two, four, six, here's ten of force green. So I've got twenty force green. And I got ten of coral rose, color number zero zero five two. So I got ten of them. And I got 10 of these. And the color is This is some really nice acrylic yarn. Uh, Buttercup. And it's color number 0059. Just gorgeous color. Look at that. I might have 20 of the buttercup. I do. I got 20 buttercup. 20 buttercup. Okay, and then I got 10 of colors called leaf, and the color number is 0047. And it is a beautiful green color. I like it. It's okay if you don't. I do. That's all that matters. <laughs> when you buy it, obviously you like it or you want it. So it doesn't matter what people think. Right? No, it don't matter. So. And it's really nice yarn. I want to get some of their bigger balls. Maybe I'll do that today. Maybe I'll go and do some yarn shopping today. See see what's on see what's on clearance. I love clearance sales. I'll tell you. Russ is number one on clearance sales. Why buy? Why pay full price when you can get it for pennies? I know they don't always have your color, and you always can't wait. I get that. I understand that. But if it's a yarn, if it's a yarn you enjoy, and it's a yarn you love, and they're discontinuing it, get it while you can, and get it while it's cheap. Start a stash. Would just yarn that you like that they're discontinuing. You don't got to go hog wild. Russ goes hog wild. You don't need to. But if it's a, like I said, if it's a yarn you enjoy and they're discontinuing it and you can, now I know times are tough and you can't. I've not bought yarn all year long except for the mini skeins other than that, I have not bought, and that is unheard of for me, not to buy any yarn. But like I said, the only yarn that I bought were the uh, minis. I've not bought yarn other than the minis. That's unheard of for Russ. I'm telling you. Ask Fiber Spider. He will tell you. I typically buy... I used to buy yarn once a month, twice a month, three times a month, four times. Oh. Yes. Russ buys yarn. And I enjoy it. And it's not hurting anybody. 
Um, and it gives me so much pleasure. But anyway, I will stop babbling because I will babble and babble and babble. But I love you and I will see you in my next video, okay? Bye.